better way to commemorate 1,000 and yeah, 1,034 views than by reviewing a Soldier Boy song. This is kind of a celebration to me because he's about to get his ass whooped by Chris Brown. Or maybe the other way around. This is going to be a fun day. I'd watch that shit. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't watch that. I watch it on pay per view. For those of you who don't know, these two are about to fight. Like, like, honest to God. If it's actually going to happen, these two are about to actually have a boxing match over some dumb shit that went over um, Instagram. I don't use fucking Instagram. Why would I want to use Instagram? We already got Facebook. Facebook is enough, okay? It's enough human misery for my life, okay? That I can deal with everywhere else. And also YouTube. I don't need Instagram or Twitter or fucking Tumblr. My life's already not as good as I want it to be, but it's just decent. You know, you don't need all these social media sites to fuck you up. But, but that's not the point of this. The point of this is just, just to me to commemorate my 1,000 views, you know? Just, you know, to kind of celebrate, to say thank you to you all. Even if you don't like my shit, I appreciate the views. I really do. I appreciate you looking at my stuff. That means 1,000 people have at least viewed some of my content. That's okay to me. That's all that matters. I like my subscribers, I really do, but I don't look at subscriber rate to judge my own, you know, self-worth because this is a hobby it's not about the fame it's about the content it's about how i view things it's about me getting my word out there and what better way to do that than to just fuck with soldier boy for a little bit soldier boy tough hey i got the new damn for y'all called a soldier boy you got a punch then crack back three times from left to right so right off the bat, bullshit. I mean, if it weren't that easy, it wouldn't be much of a song. Don't kid yourself and don't kid me. All you gotta do is punch back, crank, and do that left to right. No, there's, there's more to the song. This is why I don't like about these dumbass dance songs. They're so vague, but yet, how do you actually learn them? I don't really care. I'm just saying, how do you actually learn them just by listening to the song. See, the whole point about music is that it's an auditory entertainment, which means the most experience you're gonna get from it is by listening to it. That's why it's called music. So when you put a visual medium with that, then it becomes a visual medium as well. So if you're going to lie in the lyrics and then do something different in the video, that's just a bad song, especially if it's supposed to be a dance song. Oh, well, you know, clearly this is a rap song. You can interpret it any sort of way you want. So I'm going to do it this way. Okay, since rappers love to be up in hoes all the time, he could be a fucking girl. That's part of the dance? I don't know. Fuck it. The other thing is that he could be in the hoe. Okay, so apparently a building is not a hoe now. I mean, you can be interpreting anything since rappers love to change the meaning of single words every time they fucking say them. So, whenever a specific meaning happens, then you can bet that there's like two other rappers who have a completely different meaning for that one word. So, you know, you're up in a hoe, which means you could be fucking a girl, or you could be up in a building dancing. And on the subject of this piece of lyric, and also watch you crank it. I understand the point of the song is to teach someone how to do it, but I don't want to watch you do it. I, I want to be taught to do it. I don't know, I just interpret that the wrong way every time I hear it. Like it's almost like he's saying, watch me do it. Not you. Me. I, I don't know. There's a lot there's a lot of these songs that kinda do that shit like, okay, I can do it way better than you because I invented the song. What is Superman at all? S Superman? Like, hero? This guy? That's what you're doing? Okay, let's interpret this. No, 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 no. Let's fucking do this. Because I, I want to know. I'm the overanalyst here. You came here to be to blatantly and stupidly overanalyze stupid shit and stupid songs. That's my hobby. I'm terrible at life, guys. Anyways. So, Superman at home. Does it mean fucker like Superman? 
Do people know how Superman fuck? I would think not. He's a fictional character. So Superman at home. Does it mean... Okay, Superman can fly. Does it mean take her and fly somewhere? Does it mean fly into her? You know, you Supermaning. Superman is a sports move, isn't it? Like, when you uh, do a little motorcycle thingy. Hope I can find footage of it. Uh, that? Drive a fucking motorbike into her? Superman at home. Does it mean, you know, orgasm so hard that it goes through her? Like the sperm just shoots out like bullets. I'm not sure how that works. So, hmm. How are we going to do this? Superman that I don't know, Superman the house? Cause you know, ho it means house in this song, like party or building, you know, you're dancing in this hoe. Does it mean Superman inside of the hoe? You know? It's completely inside it. I, I'm, I'm not sure that he thought that lyric out. And I'm gonna be honest and frank with you guys, that's pretty much it. Like, this is the easy thing about reviewing Soldier Boy songs. I could have easily made this entire series based off of just reviewing his songs. I mean, because they're so old and they're so easy to view because his lyrics are fucking shit and the songs don't mean anything. They're all dance songs. Dance songs are the easiest thing to review because if you don't like the dance, then there's nothing there. The lyrical style makes no sense. It's just stupid shit piled on because I think rappers think that they're required to have lyrics in these kind of songs when it's stupid. You're here to sell a dance to me. Don't waste my time with lyrics. But, but that's what I would have been saying if I didn't have this kind of little hobby of mine where I just review songs. So, by all means, make your stupid ass lyrics in your dumb song. But the fact is, is that Soldier Boy songs are so watery. They're so weak. It's like again, like I just said, watery. Like it's it's water. What do you expect it to do? It's gonna do basic nourishment things, you know. It's used for hygiene. It's used for I don't know. We drink it. I mean, there's nothing interesting about water, unless you flavor it, I guess. But that's that's kind of how I view his songs about water. They 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 have a basic need they have a basic function in our life and the songs don't have much of a function other than a dance so the lyrics make no fucking sense because they don't need to be there and let me just you know pause the song real quick let me just pause all this just to really get on this brilliant shit because this stuff is amazing to me you know, in the doldrums of early January 20, 2017, Soldier Boy thought it would be a great idea to just start bullshit with Chris Brown. For some strange reason, he just started bullshit with Chris Brown. And this stuff went on for like weeks and weeks and weeks. He's talking about, oh, you a bitch. I'm going to beat you like you beat Rihanna. And apparently I heard that, like, I think he got Floyd Mayweather to train him to some shit for some boxing match. And Chris Brown got... Mike Tyson out of all people and this stuff was going on by some dumb shit. This is when I heard from people at work, okay? This is where I got all this shit from. One of my friends at work kind of, you know, showed me this video of him starting beef on Instagram, talking all this good shit, you know, doing all this sorts of typical rapper dumb stupid stuff, you know, talking some crap about another rapper. All right, that's standard. But these two seem like they were real about it. That's the thing that gets me. I mean, once you get Floyd Mayweather and Mike Tyson involved, just taking you through training, that's the money you're fucking spending for that. I, I have to think that they 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 don't just sit around waiting for someone to train. You probably it cost them an arm and leg to do some shit like that. That's just me. But <clears throat> as I've seen, a little update because I, I I just kind of lost track of this shit for a while. I'm just like, okay. Uh, it's Soldier Boy talking all sorts of dumb shit. And then I saw this goddamn video. Video right here is for Team Soldier, uh, all of my fans. I just want to send an apology over the past couple of months. I mean, and you know, normally I would be like, okay, he's he's paid his debts. Obviously, he's, he feels bad about what he did. 
and he's apologizing for it. But fuck no, dude. You know what you said to him. You know what you said to everyone else. And you probably even got Rihanna roped into this, too. You gonna mention her. You gonna mention how he beat her. Then you gonna make a little fucking joke about it, too. I'm gonna beat you like you beat Rihanna, nigga. Come on. Put me in the ring. You gonna put all this other dumb, stupid things. Because your fuck ass can't deal with anything like that. Go with some damn Instagram pics or some stupid stuff like that. That's what it was. You see, this is the thing that can only exist in this type of world we live in. This kind of beef, this kind of stupid beef over some fucking pictures on a website. That's the kind of thing that people worry about these days. This nigga gonna come up here and try to, like, just talk all the sorts of dumb shit. And then, I I'm sorry, dude. I'm really sorry about this. But if you make this guy look good, you, you know, the dude who did this to a woman... If you're honestly making me defend this dude, I'm just going to go ahead and say fuck you and be done with it, dude. Because you know what you did, man. It's way too late for an apology. You shouldn't have been roping all this shit together, trying to get everybody involved with it, talking all this crap about it. And you making Chris Brown look good. And you know what? I just recently saw this article. Just I looked at the conversation. Just see people chew you right the fuck out, man. Just chew you right out. And I'd love to show some of these comments right now. Exist. You will always, always be a fuck boy.